Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Today I'm talking about playing octaves on the harmonica, or octave splits to give them their full name. I'll be using a diatonic harmonica in the key of C in today's video. So, what is an octave and what's going on there? Well, octaves aren't uh, particular to harmonica, you do hear them in other contexts. And what's really happening is we're playing two notes at the same time and those notes are an octave apart. So an octave is, in the most basic sense, we're playing two notes that they sound the same but different, okay? So what that means is if you imagine the layout of notes on a piano, for example, if you go from a C to then the next C above that, they kind of, they sound like the same note. They're both a C, but they're lying in different places. So they're different versions of that same note. And if you play them together, then they give you a big kind of full sound. Uh, and that's really useful on the harmonica. So if I play the lowest note on the harmonica one blow, and then I play the next C above that, so one blow being a C, four blow is also a C. That jump from one note to the next is called an octave. That interval between those two notes is an octave. In geeky terms, what's happening is, if you think of the sound waves, uh, the vibrations when you're playing a note, if you increase the frequency, or if you double, if you double the frequency of those notes, how, how fast those waves are coming, then you'll get an octave above. So you'll get that sounds the same but different kind of thing. Something that I think is interesting is that we have a, a distinctive, uh, intrinsic understanding, an innate almost, of these things. So if you ask a man to sing a note, um, then he'll sing it in his own register. And if you ask a woman or a child to sing a note, they'll tend to sing it an octave up. So we kind of, we're able to understand these things instinctively. Sorry, I know I'm rambling. I just, I find that interesting. So if we're trying to play those two notes at the same time on harmonica, that means that you need to have your mouth the full width between those two notes. So on the blow notes on harmonica, it's four holes, one and four blow in this example. So your mouth's got to be really wide. And then if you put your tongue down the middle, then you block the middle two notes between them. So I'm kind of taking the tip of my tongue going right down the middle and blocking two and three at the same time. And what you'll hear, as you did then, is it sort of sounds like the same note, but bigger. It's a really, really cool sound, I think. And it really helps to fatten out the sound of the harmonica which can sound a bit thin otherwise and really give an extra texture that you wouldn't otherwise have. Sometimes you might find that if your harmonicas are out of tune you'll get a kind of pulsing sort of sound. I'm gonna pick up a, an older harmonica and see if I can find a really bad one. That's quite bad. I mean, they're not absolutely awful. Some of them are, I can hear the pulse. I don't know if you can hear that. Oh, that's terrible. I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if your harmonica, excuse me, if your harmonica is out of tune, you might hear that, but that's not your fault that's the fault of the instrument. You'll be doing the right thing if you if you get that sound. That's what happens when two notes are slightly out of tune with each other. But you should get that kind of full, rich sound. A couple of things to be aware of. Make sure you're not forcing the instrument at all. Let the instrument do the work for you. Um, and don't push your tongue onto the instrument really hard. So don't blow hard, don't force the tongue on hard. Just do it as nice and relaxed as possible and uh, the instrument should allow you to uh, play that sound of the octave. So you can play them almost everywhere on the instrument. Um, for now, I just want to suggest you go on those blow notes. Uh, so four whole widths, so you can do one and four, two and five, three and six, 
four and seven and so on all the way up. The draw ones get a bit more complicated. If you want to look into that into more detail, I have a tongue blocking premium course. You can check the link beneath the video to that. Um, but just to think about the uses of this uh, briefly, the harmonica is great in that it gives you lots of different ways of getting textures. So single notes are the building block of melodies, but sometimes you want to change things up and, and increase the amount of textures we're using. And this octave split is just one way of doing that. So you can play the same lick again, but make it sound different by adding an octave split where there wasn't one before. Um, word of warning just before we finish. A bad octave sounds worse than just playing the single note to begin with. You know, if you're not getting it right, it sounds like you don't know how to play a single note to begin with. So you get a kind of... So precision is massive here. So really take your time with this. I know that there's that feeling of impatience when you want to learn a skill, but I really recommend being, being you, you know, the, the slow sort of and um, kind of uh, methodical uh, kind of learner student in this context. It really, really helps. Um, okay, so if you would like to learn more about octaves and how to kind of include them in your tongue blocking playing, then check my tongue blocking course. There's a link beneath this video. You don't have to tongue block to play octaves, but it does help your moving between single notes and the octave if you're already tongue blocking. So there, there is a link to that beneath the video. And also, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson today. And if you have, it really helps me if you click like and subscribe to my channel. I put out free harmonic lessons every single week and I can only do that and continue to make content if uh, you support me and share my channel. So I really appreciate uh, every, every single person who clicks like and subscribes to my channel. Thanks for being with me today and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Cheers.